a very serious issue. The southeast part of this country has supported every other region for the presidency since 1999, and they have voted along the same pattern. They give block votes to whoever they support in every election cycle. So between 1999 and 2007, for example, they supported the candidates of the PDP, Obasanjo in 1999 and 2003, and Umar Musa Radua in 2007, the same block vote. Even when one of theirs, the late Ikem Bainewi, Chief Odumawi Ojuku, contested in 2003 and 2007, he lost in the Southeast. The Southeast voted for a party they've supported since 1999. In 2011, they repeated the same thing for Gulog Jonathan, who was from the South-South. In 2019, it was even more interesting. They supported Atiku Abakar from the Northeast with the same, the same resolve, the same seriousness as we've, seen, as we've seen them repeat in this election. So in 2023, they felt that, look, now that power is supposed to be coming to the southern part of the country, and the fact that they have been very loyal to the PDP, to the, to the extent that they suffered some level of exclusion under the current administration because of the 95, 97, and 5% doctrine, they felt it was legitimately their turn. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the PDP failed to zone their presidency to the South by 2023. And this is why the PDP ship appears to have wrecked. This instance, a region that has done the same thing for every other part of this country since 1999 and in 24 years, cannot be faulted for voting for one of their own at a time they felt we have a legitimate right to ask for us to be included as the president of this country. And if you, if you consider the fact that we fought a civil war, that we are yet to fully recover from,